In this video, we'll take a look at a new product called Ariana's Art Colored Pencils. We'll look at the good, we'll also take a look at the bad, and we'll discuss who these pencils might be right for. So let's go ahead and take our look at Ariana's Art Vivid Color Colored Pencils. We'll first start by looking at the case that these come in, which is really nice. It's a nice fabric case that holds all of the colored pencils. There's 48 total pencils in the set, and you can see it also comes with a little pocket that includes a vinyl eraser and a little plastic pencil sharpener. The only problem I see with this case is as the pencils start to be used, they're gonna get very short and probably not gonna be able to be held within the case. But other than that, it's a very nice fabric case here. We're gonna do a drawing here, and I figured that since we're gonna be reviewing um, these colored pencils, I would do something that's a bit of a challenge here. So we're gonna do a highly reflective drawing of a can, and I'm gonna start by drawing things out with an HB pencil. I'm drawing lightly in these early stages here uh, because I'm gonna be layering the colored pencils over the top, and I don't want the graphite marks to be a hindrance to the marks that I make with the colored pencils. I'm also going to lift the graphite off the surface using a kneaded eraser. Of course, a kneaded eraser is not included in the set. Now, during the course of this demonstration, I'm going to kind of walk you through the thaw process that I had using these pencils since this was the first time that I used them at all. Um, now, I'm used to using the softer pencils, Premier pencils by Prismacolor. So this is the approach that I took with these pencils initially. So I started by layering a cool gray. There's a cool gray and a warm gray included with the set. And then I started to try to produce some darker values the way I would normally produce darker values with the Prismacolor pencils by layering a dark brown and then a dark blue over the top. And you can see the blue that I'm using here is actually pretty bright. It's not very dark, but actually it's the darkest blue that's included in the set. And then periodically I'll try to burnish these colors using either the, the cool gray or the warm gray or the white. And one thing that I found initially right off the bat was it was a little bit difficult to burnish these colored pencils together, especially with a white pencil, which is kind of the go-to pencil for burnishing if you don't have a colorless blender. You can actually see the camera shake a bit because I'm putting so much pressure on the white pencil to try to burnish these. So right from the start, the white pencil was really a disappointment when using these pencils. Now, that being said, as I go throughout the process, I discovered that maybe the approach to using these pencils is not going to be the same approach used with Prismacolor pencils. And this might be an advantage for some of you who like to layer colors lightly. So as I worked my way down the can here, I started to adjust the way that I was using the pencil. I started layering the pencil a little bit lighter with a, with a lighter hand. Um, and I noticed that the colors responded or the pencils responded a little bit differently. You can see here I'm layering a yellow green over the top of the can and it's slowly adjusting the color, which is nice. With Prismacolor pencils, uh, the color is so strong that getting those slight changes in color is a little bit more difficult than what I found with the Ariana's pencils. Another thing I started to do here was to use the black pencil. Now, typically when I use the Prismacolor pencils, I stay away from the black completely because I can layer the blue and the brown to create a natural black. Black tends to make drawings look a bit flat. But with these pencils, I noticed that the black was not overpowering like you might see in um, some of the other brands of colored pencil. And it was really when I got to the brighter colors that I really started to appreciate these pencils a little bit more. When I started using the red here, I noticed how vibrant the color was and I thought it was pretty nice. Another thing to note here is the lead in these pencils is considerably stronger or harder than what you would find in Prismacolor Premier pencils. I would say that the lead is somewhere between the Prismacolor Very Thin pencils and the Prismacolor Premier pencils. Very thin pencils, of course, have harder lead within them. So if you're looking for a pencil that's somewhere in the middle of those two, this might be the pencil for you. So keeping the characteristics of the pencil in, in mind, I started to, again, adjust the way that I applied the pencil by layering light applications and then progressively getting a little bit heavier with the mark as I went. With Prismacolor pencils, you can get pretty heavy at the beginning, or Prismacolor Premier pencils anyway, you can get pretty heavy with the mark at the beginning and then slowly adjust the value or tonality of the color by layering additional colors on top. 
Another drawback to these pencils is the 48 pencils that come in the set are, to my knowledge, the only pencils manufactured by this co company. Of course, Prismacolor has a lot more options, so do the other manufacturers of colored pencils. So you're kind of limited to the pencils that are in the set to be used. And like I mentioned before, there's only one warm gray and there's only one cool gray. There's only a couple of reds and there are several fluorescent colors, which I don't see myself ever using the fluorescent colors. Some people might like to apply the fluorescent colors, but in my case, I, I don't see a real use for them. So you'll probably end up using only about 30 or so of the pencils within the set, which might be a major drawback for many of you. Now, I didn't mention this at the start of the demonstration, but I think it's important to mention that I am working on Bristol paper and I'm using the vellum surface. And of course, the surface that you work on is going to affect the mark. Now, I did make a few marks with these pencils on Canson Mitant's pastel paper, hoping that it would change the way that the white was able to burnish on the surface, but unfortunately it wasn't. So again, the, the biggest weakness here is the white pencil. I think the black pencil is really nice, and I think the brighter colors in the set are really nice as well. I am a bit disappointed that the darkest blue, though, is still a relatively lighter value blue, so it's going to be harder to push some of those cooler, darker values, and it's going to be actually a little bit difficult to push the warmer, darker tonalities as well because the brown is still relatively light as well. I did find, though, that the brown was really nice for changing the value of the brighter colors. And in this red section here, I'm using the brown to change the value of the color, and it is making the value a bit darker. But then again, when I went to the white to try to push some of the lighter values, I found it very difficult to, to do that to the degree that I would like to. So you can see here this band of red stays relatively strong even though we're darkening the value with the brown. Now as we work to the shadowed area here in the extreme crinkled part of the can, I will note that the pencil sharpened very nicely using the plastic pencil sharpener that was included with the set. I typically use a metal handheld pencil sharpener to sharpen the pencils, but I found that the plastic pencil sharpener did an exceptional job uh, sharpening these pencils. Another thing to note here is with the Prismacolor Premier pencils, it is sometimes difficult to sharpen those pencils. They'll break and the core is especially susceptible to being uh, broken, which causes those pencils to break relatively easily. I did drop these pencils a couple times while I was working with them, and I noticed that the core did not break inside. So again, that means that the lead used in, in these pencils is relatively strong. Now, one drawback, of course, to having a stronger lead in the pencils is sometimes the pigment is a bit weaker. And I did notice that these pencils are a bit weak on the pigment. That might be one of the reasons why I like the black so much, because it's not overpowering, as I mentioned before. The black is able to affect the value, making it darker, without overwhelming the color that's applied to the surface. Because burnishing is difficult with these pencils, it you are gonna still see some of the pencil strokes that you apply to the surface. So a bit more thought needs to be put on the mark that you make as you apply the pencil. So as I worked throughout the process, I started to consider a bit more of the directional lines that I put um, as I made the marks. Now, this might be something that some of you would really enjoy. Um, for most of the colored pencil drawings that I do, I try to eradicate the strokes as much as possible, trying to bring the drawing to a level where it looks more like a painting and the colors are a bit more solid. Now we'll put a little bit more of the yellow green down here just to show a bit of reflection of light from around the can. And again, it layers really nicely over here, just slowly changing the tonality of the color. Down here at the bottom portion of the can, I really wish that I had more grays to work with. And because the colors are a little bit difficult to mix because of uh, just the strength of the pigment, uh, you really have to stick with the grays that you have. Now I'll add a bit of cast shadow, and originally I started with a warm gray. 
And then I put a bit of the brown on the surface. And again, this is the darkest brown in the set. And then I layer the top of it with the darkest blue. But I found that that still wasn't producing a natural looking shadow. So I still had to go over this section with the black. So as we finish this drawing up, let's talk for a moment about price. This set currently retails for just under $50. Compared to Prismacolor Premier pencils for 48 pencils, you can get a set for under $40. So these pencils are probably best suited for beginner or intermediate artists. But if you're looking for something a bit more professional, I would stick with the Prismacolor Premier pencils or the Polychromos pencils by Faber-Castell, which are um, oil-based. So I hope you enjoyed this look at Ariana's Vivid Art colored pencils which you can pick up on Amazon. And I hope this little tutorial helped you out as well. If you enjoyed this video and you're ready to learn more, why not check out five video courses, weekly live instruction, over 6,280 minutes of art instruction, which includes video courses, eBooks, live lessons, lesson plans, and more. And of course, the colored pencil course is included with membership. Just click on the learn more now button to learn more about how you can become a member today.